Hi, welcome back to my channel. As you requested. I invited Bokumon and the other cast of the anime Digimon Frontier. They will help us in our today's lesson. You can always request an anime that you want me to invite as a guest for our succeeding lessons. Just visit the community tab of our channel and comment your suggestions to my current post there. In our previous lesson, we learned about the different types of reference materials. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put the link in the description box below. By the way, I would like to ask a small favor to you. In order for me to sustain the growth of this channel, please do not skip the ads that will appear in my videos. Thank you for always supporting my hard work in making my video lessons. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you are not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Spelling number one. Spell the word pulverize. Pulverize means reduce to fine particles. Just like our example here, the elephants pulverize the giant pumpkins. To spell mango, mango means severely disfigured or damaged by cutting, tearing, or crushing. Example, the girl angrily mangled the can. 3. Spell challenge. Challenge is a call to take part in a contest or competition, especially a duel. Example, Yugi accepted the challenge. 4. Spell Sleeve. Sleeve is the part of a garment that wholly or partly covers a person's arm. Example, he loves to wear a shirt with sleeves rolled up. And then last, number 5. Spell the word Brilliant. Brilliant means exceptionally clever or talented. Our best example here is Albert Einstein. He is a very brilliant scientist. Now, let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking, then let's move on. Digimon Frontier is a story of five kids embarked in an exciting mission in the digital world. They met each other in a train that takes them to the digital world where war against evil is being fought. To fight against this great battle, the five chosen ones must find the legendary spirits and they travel the digital world while riding in a train together with Bokumon and Nimon. Whenever they encounter an unfamiliar Digimon to converse with, Bokumon uses his Digimon dictionary to help them. But how do we use a dictionary? Now, let's discuss the parts of a dictionary and its use. A dictionary can be used to look up the meaning of a word. You can also use a dictionary to check the spelling of a word. Dictionaries may also give other information about words such as word type and word origin. Dictionaries are organized alphabetically, so start with the first letter of the word that you are trying to find. There will be lots of entries for each letter of the alphabet. So use the guide word at the top of the page to help you. The guide word tells you what's the first or last word on that page that the dictionary has. You will need to look at the second letter of the word, and then the third, and so on, in order to find it. It takes a little practice to find words quickly. You may need to scan several pages of the dictionary in order to find the word that you need. Scanning is a way of reading quickly to find the information that you need. The more you practice, the better you will get at finding words fast. When you find your word, there may be an abbreviation next to it, perhaps VB, N, or ADJ. 
The introduction to your dictionary will tell you what they each mean because every dictionary is different. But these are the most common and may indicate that your word is a verb, a noun, or an adjective. Some words have multiple meanings. These will usually be numbered and may have an example of the way the word can be used in a sentence. Some dictionaries may give even more information, perhaps about the origin and history of a word or some of its synonyms, words or phrases which mean the same or nearly the same. Let's discuss deeper on each part of a dictionary. Guide words which are located on the upper part of a dictionary page tells us the first and last words defined on each page. This allows us to know whether a word we are looking for is located on the page or not by simply comparing the letters in the word we are looking for to each letter in the guide words. Entry word in a dictionary page is written separately according to the number of its syllable. For example, the entry word that we have here is the word intent. As you see, in is separated to ten. This shows that the word intent has two syllables. Beside the entry word, we can see its pronunciation. It is also separated into syllables to tell us how the word should be pronounced. The apostrophe you see here signifies which syllable should be stressed. So the proper pronunciation of our word is intent. Beside pronunciation, we can see what part of speech our entry word is. The abbreviation indicated here is N. So, as what we discussed earlier, the abbreviation N means noun. So, the word intent is a noun. Next part is the definition. Definition is the meaning of the entry word. As we discussed earlier, if an entry word has more than one meaning, its definition is divided by numbers. Also, an example sentence is often used to make the meaning more clearer. After the definition of the word, the plural form is also shown in a dictionary page. It shows how the entry word is written in plural form. So the plural form of the word intent is intents. Beside the entry word's plural form is its origin. This shows where the entry word was derived from. In our example, the entry word intent came from the Latin word intendere, which means stretching out. In a dictionary page, we can also see the page number. It is usually located at the upper part of a dictionary. While at the bottom part of a dictionary page, also seen at the front of a dictionary, we can see the pronunciation guide. This guide explains the meanings of the symbols used in the pronunciation. Remember that it is important to familiarize yourself with the parts of a dictionary and their purpose for you to easily use and utilize a dictionary more effectively. Now, let's have an activity. For today's activity, you're going to choose the letter of the guide words where the given entry word can be found. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you. So, let's start. I'll give you a moment to answer this activity. Time's up! Here's the answer key for our today's activity. For me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. For your today's seat work, you're going to choose the letter of the entry word that can be found in the given guide words. I'll give you a minute to do this if the time is not enough for you. You may pause this video.
time's up. Let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set. I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know the parts of a dictionary. Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. Speaking of shout out, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shout out to the following people. Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!